sandals because my friend is a real enabler they're beautiful though i'm really impressed i'm wearing one size more than usual and as you can see they're a bit big but i mean they're not too roomy they're not too long either so i really recommend them i'm gonna wear them for the first time now so i'll let you know but they are a beautiful quality and they're this brand from Saint-Tropez, really iconic brand, they've been doing this forever. They are so comfortable, I love them. Hi from Ibiza, I just went to the supermarket to get my basics for this week, or at least the next few days. We have once again ended alone in this road in a remote little road with nobody to aid us in case of trouble although this time we have the company of a finished frozen margarita so it could be worse you know one thing that I'm a bit sick of by now I speak to all of my friends and they're upset that I didn't invite them to Ibiza. It's like, this is my home. Oh, I like that. This is not a place that I come for holiday. Sure, when I get a break, I go to the beach where I, you know, I come to nature. Just like in London, you can go to the park for a bit. But. I'm not on holiday, so I can't full-time invite somebody and be a host. It's just, it's like asking me in London to have somebody in my house all the time. It's just, why would I do that? It's okay if you plan a holiday together, but to just randomly invite somebody. Okay, this is getting kind of confusing. They said go up until you can't go anymore and then turn left. Do I consider that as anymore or should I be turning left already? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see if I decided to come this way, then could I go anymore? Hmm. I kind of can, but it isn't quite the main road. Should I go anyway? Let's go anyway. What do we have to lose? We can always go back to that intersection. You know what? I'm going back because I don't remember having ever chosen such a small road and this road is going very far. So I think... And also I can feel some entities. I swear I just saw something. So we're gonna go back. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I keep complaining about being alone and then I don't want to have anybody with me either. It's difficult. Okay, we're gonna go on the main road because I'm guessing the main road is gonna take us somewhere, right? It is a main road for a reason. I mean, if you can call this a main road, it's more main than the other one in any case. So I think this road is gonna take to the station. So it turns out, in fact, we had to follow this road. You know, it's curves and whatever. I stopped for a moment to pee because I had to pee and I was like, I'm in the middle of nowhere and there's nobody. But see, now there's more people. The moment I stopped to pee, somebody arrived. I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I did it. The beach is so windy right now, but here, there's nobody. This is beautiful. Look. I think there's people coming. I mean, I didn't mean to say nobody, I meant to say no wind. There's no wind. It's great. Oh, I think I'm nearing civilization, because this is starting to smell a lot like pee. Okay, so I just came out here. I think it's pretty obvious. This is not the way to the beach. <laughs> I have no idea where I am or why. 
this freaking car thing took me here. I mean, why? You're on the way to a beach. Why do you install a whole pathway to see this kind of inner lake? I just found a person, so I asked him. And he said that the beach is right here. Right here where? I can hear ducks. Okay, so some guy, he jumps the rope and he came up here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I think we gotta get out of here, y'all. Fuck, finally. We're here. This should not have taken so long. I have... I have not been going the right, the right way. I need to learn what's the right way. <laughs> because the phone doesn't work here, there's no coverage. And I'm not used to not being able to look at the map. And there's no map. So you're just walking aimlessly. Oh look, here is where the turtles are, I think. That's cool. And there's nobody at the beach. I mean, there's a few people. Barely nobody, because... It's not a very good beach day, you know? That's why I came here, because the other beach it was just so windy. And I know that this beach is even windier. But I just thought, because the other one is so windy, maybe this one. It's in the opposite place. So I thought this one may be a little bit better. And honestly, so far, I think it is a bit better. The other one was insufferable. So this is what's going on. This is an oddest beach, by the way. So, you know me. I have no problem. So I got naked and I'm just here. I have a French interview for a position test. So like a French language test. It's not like I'm going to work in French anytime soon. But they have to tell me basically what level I am. So they're gonna call me. I was planning to be at home, but the way this is going, there's no way I'm gonna be home in 30 minutes. So I think I better just stay here because it's really quiet. If I go into this road again behind me, I think I can do the interview there and it will be fine. so awkward so i was at the beach and it's a nudist beach so i got naked and then this guy comes to sit next to me which is really inappropriate and then i get up because i was going to pee to the hill somewhere so i go to pee i go into a space that's really kind of by itself and i see the same guy walking past i'm like and he walks right past so i thought okay see me that's good that's over and then while i'm being he comes back he sees that i'm being i he waits there and i'm like hello can i get some privacy and he's just like waiting to ask me out he immediately asks me out as soon as i'm finished i was like really and then he goes straight to kiss me on the cheek which is like it's fine but don't do that especially don't do that several times if i'm not going along with it anyway that was such an awkward i have never been assaulted like that while i was in the bathroom